vibration reading for the cancer sun moon and rising sign and I want to say to you guys thank you for being here thank you for being back please like and share these videos and please listen to your sun moon and rising sign okay for you cancers it's going to be a month where um, it's the fire energies I am not sure how you guys are going to deal with this energies the energy of the moon comes up for you cancers it is the energy of a uh, victorious and successful but it, it depends on how this is going to come in because the energy of the month is a victory uh, a successful month over of a month that you're going in um, war with other people you know quarrels and that sort of a thing and this is what is going to happen to you cancers and this is what I'm afraid of because it has the energy of the chariot and in the first week it's a fire week second week is a fire week third week you have the energy of uh, um, the Pisces and the scorpions coming up to help you out the third week is going to be your best week last week is the end of the um, the wheel of fortune so let's see what is happening for you guys I'm you know very worried first week you are coming in the month having no regrets you cancers the second week um, you are celebrating so this is good third week for you cancers um, you have the ace of Pentacles and the fourth week you have good news coming in so well that's good I was a little bit worried for you guys so in um, the first week you, you're you're not you're having some you're not having any regrets because you're celebrating a victory over someone who's a cancer okay um, the Queen of Swords comes in in the first week going on to the second week okay the Queen of Swords comes in um let's see what this is happening in the second week to the third week you have the energy of the lovers the energy of the lovers okay so um the queen of swords is someone who's an aquarius a gemini or a an aquarius a gemini or a an aquarius a gemini or a libra that is coming in and it's as if you both are going to be um, you know um, connecting with each other strong foundation you know and um, so good news success strong foundation so it's as if some of you are going to be marrying to someone who is or connecting with someone because here it is the energy of the lovers so you two might be start seeing each other that is good and you have a very very strong um, foundation good news is coming about money that is coming in so it's a wonderful month for you guys but you're leaving this situation behind so okay I'm sorry okay um whatever has transpired is as if you started to connect with someone who is an um, Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra but all of a sudden in the second week you were having a celebration and everything and then in this um, and then in the then afterwards you're thinking uh, no this is not for me I'm leaving this I'm moving on I'm moving on so let's see what is going to be happening you're going to be moving on to your family so whatever this was um, some of you had an um, an affair with um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a um, Libra and you're thinking mm -mm, no this is not it I'm moving on so and, and, and you're moving on and leaving and going back to your family so it's as if some of you are you know testing the water you're trying to find someone and then you're thinking mm -mm, that not this one but okay 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 mm, 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 mm. okay okay you cancers especially you cancers that are married or in a relationship with a Capricorn um it's as if you you're having affairs okay you're having affairs and this Capricorn knows so for the people who are connected with a Capricorn this Capricorn knows because there is a um, there is 
when these two come up is as if she knows exactly what you're doing you know this is the energy of judgment is coming to you from a Capricorn a woman okay she knows exactly what you're doing so if you think that you're having secrets against this Capricorn woman she knows exactly what you're doing it's as if a judgment is going to come down on you because she found out what you were doing okay so you the ending of this month with all these good news and everything that was happening for you and all of that that is happening and the affair that you had with this um, air sign person because you were there having a celebration and you, you were coming in a month of April you know celebrating and feeling good and that sort of a thing you had a little affair with um, because you know you're taking on the energy because it's your energy vibration actually you're playing um the mr lover lover in um in and <laughs> you have become the mr lover lover okay you cancers are married but you're playing the feel okay you cancers are married and you're playing the feel okay because this month is that you are playing the mr lover lover but there's a lot your secrets are going to be coming out okay whoever you are you cancers are your secret is going to come in come out because a lot of you cancers are playing the field a lot of you cancers are married in other relationships and you're playing the field because all around you is that I'm having no regrets I'm celebrating um, enjoying myself I'm having a fling with the Aquarians or the Gemini or um, uh, or the Librans and you're having these affairs and money is coming to you you feel good good news is on the way to you and you are having a strong a strong foundation but whoever you were having an affair with you're going to decide to move away from that person because the thing about what you cancers do not understand about air sign people is that they use the swords you are a water person but they have the energy of the sword so they can use the information against you whoever you are going with and having an affair if you try to end this affair they are going to get you okay they are going to get you because it's as if if you had an affair with this with whatever the air person is and they can't get you they are going to tell your wife or your girlfriend or whoever you're seeing and this is um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn who knows exactly what you are up to because at the end of the month judgment is coming up for you so whatever the affair that you have and you're leaving this air sign person behind this Aquarius Gemini or can or, or Libran she's gonna get you for it okay so you are there um, feeling good because money is there and you have an affair you you have a little sex paid with this woman and then you're thinking I'm leaving this behind and going back to my family and whoever you're married to if it's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn she already know what you have done and she's taking points so be careful because what is going to happen is that unexpectedly because you're thinking oh money is flowing and I am mr. lover lover and this is good I'm having a fun time because I can go around and sleep with everyone <laughs> and then you're going to oh bye I gotta go home I got my family <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what is coming up for you so be aware because if you're with a hurt sign person she's going to know that and she's going to make sure that you feel it because she's going to go out there when she start playing the ground there is no way you will know that she's playing you okay so be aware of what you're doing because whatever you're giving out is coming back to you now I'm not really going to go in your business because it's the energy of um, um you're having um 
you're having um, a lot of uh, um, outside relationship you are playing the round mister mister and mrs um, a lover lover mm, mm, mm. Um, so you're having an affair okay you're having an affair um you people and what is gonna happen you really 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 have to be careful what is happening because you are being mr. and mrs. a lover lover uh, you're having an affair and your partner knows exactly what you're doing okay so okay so whatever is happening you know be aware of whatever is happening for a lot of people there is going to be um, let's see what's happening for the cancer women at work in the month of April 2018 so you're having regrets about situations. some of you are deciding to leave a situation behind some of you are thinking to find a new work and for the cancer men at work let's see what's happening for the cancer men at work um regrets regrets and the energy of the ego is plain you're having a lot of regrets and the energy of the ego that is plain let's see what is happening for the people 18 to until 30 um, there's information that is coming to you uh, from work before daily uh, um, it's um, people um, you know giving you an um, information ultimatum for you younger people in love for the cancer women what is happening for the month of April for the cancer women love you're gonna start looking at yourself you're gonna start looking inwards at yourself okay whatever is transpiring you're gonna start looking inwards at yourself for the men in love Ooh, I told you they were playing mr. level lover so <laughs> okay so um, yeah go on um, enjoy <laughs> I can't say anything um, except you men go on and enjoy because if you're married to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn she already know you're playing the field and she's gonna play you okay for the people between the ages of 18 and 30 in love, the energy of the lovers, the star, the sun, your relationship is going to be good. So um, that is good for a love and career for you guys. Let's look at the zodiac energy. Who is going to be affecting you? And let's look at the sun people for the, ca the cancers in the month of April 2018. Who's going to be affecting you? You have the Pisces that is coming in. So some of you people who are born in um, the day, you're going to be dealing with the Pisces, which is your own zodiac energy sign, and the, the, the Taurus, the Pisces and the Taurus. Okay, that is actually not bad because um, the Pisces are not bad. Cancers and the Pisces can get along together. And for the people who are born in the night, you are dealing with, oh my God, Uranus. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, whenever Uranus comes out and you're having an affair, it's your partner is going to know, okay? It's going to come out. So for the people who are having an affair and the planet of Uranus comes, so think about it. When were you born? Were you born? After 6 p.m. in the in in the evening until 12 p.m. in the the night, um, if you're having an affair, it's your partner is going to be um, is going to be co coming out, okay? And then we have oh God Neptune. So via your intuition, I told you, do not mess with the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn people, okay? They rule the earth and carries the energy vibration of the heart don't mess with these people oops something fell out the eye princess um listen to your intuition the eye princess listen to your intuition 
okay so we're looking at your money do the work do the work so for your money aspect they're saying to you do the work it's not enough to dream or pray you have also got to take positive action step that you are being divided to take consistently working on your priorities will make them um, 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 flourish like a lush flowers in the garden so uh, some people said you know I'm manifesting and I'm praying and I'm asking and uh, nothing is to happen yes because if you are asking the universe for something and you're praying and asking the universe for something but no, yet still you're not going out to look for a job or you're not trying to start something of your own then it's not going to happen I'm sorry but manifestation is like you're saying hey I need um, the money to go and do a study because if I do that study I can do this and and then it will happen but if you sit there you say well I pray today six times and I'm dreaming and I'm praying six times per day nothing is gonna happen because that is what you're drawing in if you are not getting up and doing something to make sure it happens to so that you can meet the right people at the right times then that is what that happens okay so let's look at what the universe is saying instead of praying for an outcome I pray for the highest good for all isn't this beautiful instead of praying for outcomes pray for the highest good of all so instead of you praying for material no said you know I know that this is going to be okay I know that this is okay um, you know you know you know what is best I'm asking the universe for this but you know what is best for me okay so and you know what is best for myself you know what is best for you know what it is that is much better so you can be praying for something but the universe is going to deliver you something and then people are going to say yeah but that was not what I want and that sort of a thing you need to be grateful for whatever you receive I want to say to each and every one, thank you for being here. Have a wonderful month. It's going to be good, except that whoever is having an affair, it's going to be coming out. Namaste.